right, well, it is that time again. A new set, a new box. We have Zendikar Rising here today. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of bad news. I did not get my box topper or uh, a buy box promo because my local gaming store, Paradox Comics and Cards, did not have them. Oh, and I have a new kitty who is already very, very interested in the video. So, all right, here we go. Get this open. Oh, no, never mind. It's inside of it. I did get my box topper. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. Okay, this is something we're saving for last because these are very, very, very cool things, and I don't want to spoil what they are until the very end because, honestly, what is inside of that box topper might be the is Well, it might be. It is the most valuable thing in this box. Let's pack out of here. For those of you who are not aware, the uh, the box toppers this time around are Expedition Art um, Lands, which are a special list of lands that can be uh, any of the fetches, things like Ancient Tomb, basically any really, really rare and valuable land. And since Vent Zendikar is the uh, plane of adventure, we're doing this on my 3.5 D&D manuals. So let's open it up. And it is wet. That's kind of weird. Or maybe that's just me. Because I did have... Yeah, I think it's just the hand sanitizer I had on. Alright. First... All right, let me double check. Alright, so these are in the, the dumb order. So I hate doing it this way. All right, so got some fun things here. Some neat little commons. Nice little ox. Put those off to the side. Then we'll start with our uncommons, which are a Malakir Rebirth, which on the other side is Malakir Mire. This is a new mechanic in uh, Zendikar, dual-faced modal cards. Essentially, they can be played either as a land or the spell on the other side. Our rare is Maddening Cacophony, which is basically a kickered version of Traumatize, so that's pretty neat. And then Full Art Basic Mountain. Put off to the side there because I like these. And then a very cute insect token. All right. Oh, gosh. There we go. And slippery fingers over here. And so to go with the dual face modal cards, this is what would be the token, but actually you write on what the spells and cards are, and you put this if you, if you aren't using sleeves. So. All right, for the commons... This is some neat stuff. The equipment in this set is all snap-on, which means when you play it, it goes straight onto the uh, onto the cre onto a creature right away. All right. And for my own commons, here's Song Mad Treachery, which is another dual-faced modal card. It has Song Mad Ruins on the back. All right. Oh, wait. Yeah. And for my rare, a Kargan Intimidator. Cowards cannot block warriors. And a full art basic island, which looks very cool. Pack three. See if I can do this without spoiling it for myself. So here is a high some neat commons. Ooh, the Tuk Tuk Rebel Fort. 
little tuck tuck. Yeah, I really wish they wouldn't order packs this way because it is very, very obnoxious to deal with when you're trying to do fun box openings. Oh, that is a rare. So here we have uh, Uncommon. This is another dual face model card, Sajiri Shelter. And on the back, you can see it is a Sajiri Glacier. That's pretty neat. So for my rare, I have Aura Skyclay Purifont, who is a neat little core cleric buddy. If I had gotten my box topper, this it would have been a full art version of this, or my uh, bio box promo, I should say. There is also a bonus foil Swarm Shambler, who is a neat little friend to get in foil. A, another basic full art forest, and a fun little cat buddy. I am just struggling with these packs. So, okay, I think this is right. Actually, these dual face mobile cards can help for this. So, here are my commons. Neat little disenchant. Ooh, and there we go. There is a landfall uh, hedron art frame for a Kazandu nectar pot. Pretty, pretty little cards. They actually really, really nailed it on the alternate arts for this set. Um, then for our uncommons, we have Balaged Recovery, which is a Balaged Sanctuary on the back. We then have our rare, which is an Orin Reef Ooze. Little ooze that gets bigger as it attacks and makes your whole thing bigger. Our Full Art Basic Planes. And another one of these check cards. All right, next. Ugh, there we go. All right. Well, that really spoiled it, but um, okay. So. For commons, <laughs> oh, <laughs> little frog buddy, and then these are our uncommons. And since there is not a dual face modal card, that means that our rare. Oh, and it is an alternate art frame Kazandu mammoth which on the back is a Kazandu Valley. That's really neat. We'll, we'll put that in with the foils. And then I get a full art basic forest and just another check card. Next pack. All right, so let's see here. All right, so I think this is right. Wait, I think it's right. Nope, there is a foil in the pack. Okay, so for our commons, and then these are our uncommons. We have Bane Vale, which is. Baying Coast on the back. Oh, and our fun little Ruin Crab friend. Ruin Crab, the new version of Hedron Crab. Ooh, and for our first Mythic, it is a Lithoform engine. That'll be pretty fun to find a commander deck for that. And a Foil Seafloor Stalker. Then we get a Full Art Basic Mountain and a little fun insect token. Right. I have a better idea of how these packs are put together now, so I should be able to do this faster. So, yeah, okay. All right, for commons. 
This reclaim the waste is pretty neat. No special arts. For our uncommons, we get a black bloom rogue, which is a black bloom bog on the back. And for our rare, we get a squad commander who he, this is something that works with the new party mechanic, which essentially counts one each of a warrior, rogue, and wizard in your party. And there's a basic planes. And you get extra effects for cards that care about party for having a cleric, rogue, wizard, and warrior. I'll open this here. So these are my comments. All right, so I'm going through my comments here in this pack. See, adventure awaits. The adventure plane. Where lands matter. For my uncommons. And my rare is a glass pool mimic with a glass pool shore on the back. There's a cycle of all of these dual um, mana card or modal cards for each uh, rarity. And there's a basic mountain and one of those check tokens. Generally, I think the rare spells are a lot better than the mythics, but the mythics have the lands that enter untapped. Oh! All right, there yeah, we're good. Let's see. All right, I think those are all my... All right, commons. Rapid Bite is back. My own commons have a Palaka Predation, which has Palaka Caverns on the back. My rare for the pack is Grakma Skyclave Ravager. There is also a Foil Umara Mystic. That's pretty neat. A Full Art Basic Mountain. And an arena promo card that we don't need. All right. This booster. Let's see. All right, these are my commons there. All right. So we have Vanquish Negate. Let's see. Some neat things in here. Nothing. This is a little disappointing, I think, compared to the M21, because I feel like I got a lot of the special frames in that one, and I haven't seen many here. Although, of course, I say that, now I get a special frame. Skyclave Geopede. Come back. And then the Saloon Division with the back has a Saloon D Isle. The rare for this pack is... A Luminarch Aspirant with a Full Art Basic Island and a Cat Beast token. So here we go. So here's a neat one. This is a it's Prismite, but it counts as every party one of each party member, or I should say, counts for any party position, because all of the party creatures need to be distinct. If something has all of the types, it doesn't count as a full party on its own. All right. So for our uncommons, we have Spikefield Hazard, which on the back is a Spikefield Cave. Whoa. 
still recording? Yeah, okay. Our rare is an Inscription of Ruin. Neat little kicker spell with a basic full art forest and another one of these checks. All right. So go so much faster if I didn't have to filter out these packs because they're done in a way that just reveals what the rare is right away. Okay, I think there's a foil in this one. We'll find out. All right. Ooh, there we go. A nice, cool-looking Akul Hellhound. Pretty cool-looking one there. Really want to find a Ruin Crab with that art. Well, that's also... These are uncommons. Okay. So we then have a Kubira Takedown which on the back is a Kabira Plateau. You know, I don't think I've had a single duplicate of these yet. I think every single dual face model card has been different so far. My rare is a Tajuru Paragon. Kind of hard to see there. It counts as uh, a Cleric Rogue and a Wizard. Ooh, there we go. A nice foil art alternate art Kazandu Nectar Pot. Then a full art basic swamp and a check card. Let's see. Let's see if I can fix this focus. There. All right. Next pack, we're a third of the way through the box. And our next pack has... Alright. These dual face mobile cards are really helpful for me figuring out how the pack's set up, so... Alright. Hopefully we'll see uh, another old art here. No. Here's another Sajiri Shelter. I think this is the first one that we've seen twice. And for the rare, we have a... Ooh! Omnath! Locus of Creation. Finally, an Omnath in four colors. He's kind of blowing up standard right now. Landfall is a little too good. <laughs> There's a basic full art mountain. And just a check. All right, pause the recording. All right, so next pack. Get to our comments here. Oh, there we go. A cool alt art McKindy Ox. And then Song Mad Treachery land on the back. And our rare in this pack is Shadow's Verdict. With a full art basic forest and ooh, an illusion token. Since there was no, oh. 
since there was no modal card, that means that our rare is actually one of the Mythic Cycle, Agadim's Awakening. And on the back, it is Agadim the Undercrypt. So this can come in untapped to tap for black, or I can cast this big ridiculous spell on the other side. There is also a foil turn timber ascetic and a full art basic planes. On top of that, we have a plant token. All right, next pack. Commons, there is a Tangled Florhedron, which on the back is a Tangled Veil. So it's a Mana Dork that can also be a land if you need it to be. And then our rare is Skyclave Apparition. With a Full Art Basic Forest. And just an Arena Advertisement. We are not getting a lot of hot stuff here. But I still do have my box topper to open, so that'll be a fun one. Alright, for our commons in this one, Big Colossus, Little Alligator Friend. Ooh, there we go, a full Special Hedron Art Spitfire Lagak. For our uncommons, we have Saloon Division again with the aisle on the back. And a Skyclave Relic for our rare. There's a Full Art Basic Island. And a just a little check thing. Alright, next pack. All right, so little Scorch Riser, regular Akum Hellhound. Ooh, the Shepherd of Heroes. Gain life for all of the members in your party. And for our uncommons, we have Palaka's Predation with the land on the back again. And a Mystic and a Rebuke. Our rare in this pack is, ooh, ho, 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 a special art skewt swarm. That's neat. And we have a foil dread worm with a basic full art mountain and an angel warrior token. All right. Our little pack beast friend, sneaking guide, ooh, riptide, ooh, the scythe cat. All right. For our uncommons, we got a spike field hazard with the land on the back, and ooh, a neat little shadow cat. Rare in this pack is a throne of McKinney, little kicker payoff land with a Full Art Basic Swamp, and a check card. Let's pack. We get a Namana Skitter Sneak. 
Ooh, now this is a neat card. This is the first card that Black's gotten that actually destroys enchantments. They've now decided that Black can do that. Ooh, and look at that, a neat Hedron Art Dreadworm. Now that's cool looking. These Hedron Arts are really cool. I just think it's a little sad I'm not seeing as many as I did with the Planeswalker Arts in the last set. Another Ruin Crab friend. And our rare for the pack is Nathiri's Lithoforming with a basic island and a little insect token. I had a little trouble with that one. <laughs> Alright. So we got a little Blood Priest. Some spare supplies, a Stopper. Scavenge Blade and no Neat Arts. Converted Defense. And so that means our rare is a full art Clearwater Pathway with a Murkwater Pathway on the back. So these are replacing the Shock Lands and Standard, essentially. Um, you can play them as either side. But, oh, they are pretty. Nice full art one, too. A full art Basic Swamp. And just a check card. All right. So we have a constrictor, another feed the swarm. And no fun arts. So then we have I'll get recovery with that on the back. Ooh, and a Special Art Skyclay Pickaxe. Our rare for the pack is Coral Helm Chronicler. Neat little kicker payoff guy with a full basic planes and a Drake token. All right. Our pack beast friend. Little sky dancer. Oh, there's the tuck tucks. Ooh, a duelist. Ooh, and another full art nectar pot. We have the veil again with the land on the back. Our rare for the pack is. Ooh, Felidar Retreat. There is also a Foil Merfolk Falconer. With a Full Art Basic Forest and a check card. All right. I haven't seen a Mythic in a while. All right, so... Start out with an Electromancer, a Brute, a neat little Glacial Grasp, and Nahiri's Binding. For our commons, we've got a Black Bloom Rogue with the land on the back. And the rare for this pack is a Null Priest of Oblivion. With a Full Art Basic Swamp and a check card. All right, moving on. All right, so. Move them over. 
Need a depth snare caster. And there's our regular nectar pot friend. Ooh, and a full art canopy bayloth. With our uncommons, we've got a coom warrior. It's got the coom teeth on the back. Maybe I show them. Yeah. And that is that. And for the rare, we've got a crawling barons, a neat little man land. There is also a foil Kabira Outrider, a full art basic swamp, and an arena advertisement. We're getting into the last third of the cards here. I don't like to see another mythic here. More neat art pathways. All right, Colossus, Tuck Tucks, and that's it. All right, Uncommons. We got the Stampede, the Maces on the back. Rip Grazer and Amiria Captain. Our rare is Master of Winds with a full art basic island and one of these Chuck cards. All right. Commons, we have the survivor. Here he's binding a chilling trap. Ooh, we got a colony ambush with a colony territory on the back. Little resting kitty. Our rare for this one is. Ooh, Zagras, Thief of Heartbeats. There is also a Foil Scion of the Swarm with a Full Art Basic Swamp and a Core Warrior Token. Next one. We got some synchronous spell crafting. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. Drew Blight. Pro ah, Mita Marasa, Royal Eruption. Ooh, and a full art prowling Felidar. For our uncommons, we've got spoils, relic, and some plundering. For our rare, we have Branch Loft Pathway, which on the other side is Boulder Loft Pathway. And a Full Art Basic Plains with a copy token. So this is a copy of the new Jace that we have not seen in this box, unfortunately. Stalker, Duelist, Scavenge Blade, Dreadworm. All right. We're getting a Zoff Consumption with a Zoff Blood Bog on the back. A little Sproutling and a Vanguard. Our rare for this pack is, ooh, Nighthawk Scavenger. With a full art basic forest and a check card. Sure, I haven't seen a mythic in a while.
All right, so got to feed the swarm. Well, that's a neat little looking card. Then we have Kazul's Fury, which is a little fling of the land on the back. Our rare for the pack is Linvala Shield of Seagate. We got a full art basic planes and a chip card. Electromancer, Blood Beckoning, Utility Knife, ooh, a full Hedron Arts Territorial Scythe Cat. That's a fun one. All right, for our uncommons, we've got Malakir Rebirth, Land on the back, Fine Gecko and Brushfire Elemental. Rare in this pack is, ooh, a Lotus Cobra, heck yeah. This is a bit of a big one. Probably one of the best cards I could have gotten in this. Full Art Basic Mountain and another check card. Definitely feel like that makes up for how few mythics I'm getting here. Skill Heights, nothing big there. More a wizard with a land on the back, Shadow Stinger and a nice Relic Amulet. Our rare is Nimble Trap Finder, who's a little party payoff friend. We also have a Foil Kazool's Fury with a land on the back, a full art basic swamp and marina advertisement. All right, so we have Vanquish the Week, our pack beast friend. Core Celebrant. Felidar, ooh, full Hedron Art Skyclave Squid. With a Jawari Disruption. With a land on the back. Cleric of Life Spawn and a Relic Golem for our uncommons. Our rare is Legion Angel. With a, ooh, a foil basic. We'll put that here. Well, where do I put this? No. With a regular island and another arena advertisement. Getting to the end of the box here. Cognition, little protector, a bubble snare. Uncommons, we've got Skyclave Cleric, which the the art on the land on the back of these I think looks so cool. Oh, and our little canyon Jerboa friend. Oh, what a little buddy. Rare in this pack is Ooh, a Seagate Stormcaller. Not quite a Snapcaster Mage, but you know, close. A Full Art Basic Forest. And a check card. Open these up now. Alright, we got two packs left, including this one. Oblivion's Hunger, Subtle Strike, Xandu, Rage, 
All right, nothing too big there for our uncommons. We've got Vast Wood Fortification with a little land on the back. Thought Thief and a Demon's Disciple. Our rare in this pack is a Magmatic Channeler. I'm a big fan of this one. The Full Art Basic Island. And just a chip card. All right, last pack. Then we open the box topper for our Expedition Land. All right, so let's see. Last pack. Give me something good. All right, let's see. Nautilid Colony, another Bayloth, and nothing there. Ooh, okay, so our full art fearless fledgling, relic axe, and a Windrider wizard, which means our final rare is a Needle Verge pathway with a Pillar Verge pathway on the back. Ooh, <laughs> well, this is spoiled for me, but our last card is a Foil Agadim's Awakening. Agadim the Undercrypt on the back with a full art basic forest and a cat token. All right, so let's see what is in here. I think no matter what it is, it's probably worth as much as the whole box. If I can carefully open it. Okay, so card back here. Gosh, I'm trying so hard to not bend this. All right, so my expedition land is ooh a black cleave cliffs. This is not what I was hoping to see, but it looks really good. Well, there you go. That is the whole box opening. Thanks for joining me. Uh, have a good day.